Good morning. I've had a nice peaceful morning full of reading despite the fact that I mentally want it to be spring but in true Pacific Northwest fashion it always snows in like the last few weeks of winter so we've been getting snow all week. Our yard currently has a few inches of snow so I'm trying to enjoy it because it looks nice but you know mentally I'm just, I'm just ready for spring. I am excited to have a chill relaxed day at home today. I have been very busy and stressed with work. When am I not? I did get a package from Brooklinen yesterday. They're the sponsor of today's video. And if you haven't heard of Brooklinen before, they're a luxury sheet company that makes bed and bath products at a great price point, but high quality to help elevate your home. Uh, they recently released their like spring color line. So I got some new sheets for our bedroom. We have several sets of Brooklyn and sheets and I love how they just continue to get softer with every wash. They're just so comfortable to sleep in. So I continue to go back and choose even more fantastic patterns. Pro tip, if you like any of their seasonal colors, they do sell out kind of fast. So I would buy it when you see it. I saw this tandem stripe in cacao on their website and I thought it would go perfectly with our bedroom. So I got the hardcore luxe bundle. You got the core sheet set, flat fitted, two pillowcases, two extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. And when you buy them all together in the bundle, you save 20%. I really love Brooklinen's Lux sheets because they have a 480 thread count. They feel so buttery soft to me, but they're also great for year round sleeping and they're Oikotex certified. So I got everything in this same amazing stripe pattern that I can't wait to see in our bedroom. But the great thing about Brooklinen's bundles is that you can totally mix and match the patterns too. I think they have over 20 different color variations on their website. So it's so cool that you can customize your own sheets to your personal style. I really don't think you can go wrong with Brooklinen. I just love the quality of their sheets and they're actually currently having a sleep week sale up until March 20th. So if you want to check it out, which I totally think you should, click the link in the description of this video and you can save up to 20% or up to 40% on bundles like this one, which I am about to throw in the washing machine. I think I'm going to make some breakfast really quickly and then see how this looks in my room. Every time I make my bed for these videos, one of my dogs immediately hops up onto it. I guess it's a testament to how uh, cozy these sheets are. Look, here's the other one. Dog approved. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what the final set looks like. I really like how it's still kind of neutral, but the stripes add a nice interest. And I also feel like it pairs really well with the color tones in our headboard. We've had this set up pretty much since we moved in so i did get some new lamps that i wanted to swap out for our nightstands maybe update this stuff a little bit because i'm gonna be honest when i set this up i think the eucalyptus was green i really like that this lamp is a touch lamp but i don't have a matching one so i think i'm gonna move this into um my office and then i got some matching ones it was actually very hard to find a lamp that is dimmable and a touch lamp and is taller. I wanted something a little taller because I feel like the ceiling is so high in here. It also has charging ports on it, which are like a bonus, but okay. I think I might have to touch, only touch this like one metal spot. You probably can't see because the video is so far away. And I like how the other one, you could touch it in multiple places. So I don't know. I like the vase. I'm definitely gonna reuse the vase somewhere else in the house. But I think it's time for this dust cover foliage to go. All right. This round thing is actually my light alarm clock. It's super helpful in the winter when it's like very dark in the morning. I also feel like this random vase of other 
random dusty things can probably go too. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have, I don't have a lamp on this side besides this. And it's like super yellow. I decided to do a little flip flopping with the candles and the book for now. Um, I feel like this is my progress report. It's not fully done. I think I'm gonna test the lamps for a few days and see if like functionally I still like them the same. Um, I kind of just want to add more color. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know below. I think actually I'm considering getting like different lampshades for the lamps. These are just the ones that came with it. But I feel like a fun pop of color, like a mauve or a green would look really nice. She's like, as long as I get to sleep on this bed, I don't really care. I've been going through this tofu phase recently where I've really been enjoying just like plain, not crispy tofu. And I feel like this is so vegan of me to say, but I just love boiling it with like a little bit of salt. It like refreshes the flavor of the tofu and it makes it almost like more pronounced. Also gives the tofu kind of like a more chewy texture. Um, and I just really like it. This has been my go-to like lazy lunch meal uh, this past week and I just can't get enough of it. Uh, it's very simple, but I'll show you how to make it. I'm going to start by putting some uh, water on the stove, bringing it to a boil, and I'm going to add a decent amount of salt, a little less than you would like salt your pasta water with, but still a good amount. I also already started some rice in my Instant Pot, um, but I've also been eating this with rice noodles. Basically, I just slice everything up, and then I put the tofu in first once the water starts to boil, because that's kind of like the most resilient. Um, along with the broccoli stems and carrots. And then once those are almost tender, I add in the broccoli florets, which in my opinion, don't be too long to cook. Then I just drain everything pretty well and serve it over rice and add a lot of green onions, chili oil, sesame oil. This just looks so good and so satisfying to me. I just like get a little bit of chili oil on the tofu. I don't know, it's just like the perfectly like squidgy Textures. And sometimes it's okay to enjoy basic food, you know? Still hits the spot. I'm suited up and we're going on a walk. It's actually not snowing anymore. It's just raining. So I am weatherproofed and ready to go. There's some like, I think it's a Nordic phrase where there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And over the last few years, I've really, stop pulling. Over the last few years, I've really been trying to um, embrace that. So I've been taking the dogs on daily walks, rain or shine, with our little raincoats. And no matter what, I always enjoy it, even if it's raining, even if I get a little wet. It's always a good experience and just feels really nice to breathe the fresh air. Usually on the weekends, I like to do something a little quote unquote crafty. So my project for this weekend was finally buying a straight edge cutter. I bought this calendar last year. It's from Rifle Paper Co. It's a super cute calendar. You're probably not gonna be able to see because the pictures are so tiny, but there's like a bunch of different fruit art. And I got this because the quality of the paper is actually really nice and because I love repurposing things. I thought some of this would make fun, like colorful art around the house. So this has actually been on my to-do list for a while because you know it's 2024 and I finished this in December. So I am going to cut all of these out. You know, I do think they anticipated that people might try to do this because some of the cursive letters do come dangerously close to the fruit. Anyways, what I actually wanted to talk to you guys about one of the books that I have been reading. Look at that straight edge. I'm reading a lot of books this year, but like what's new with that? Um, I would say the more new thing is I've been trying out more audiobooks because I am a Spotify premium member. And if you live in the United States, I think since December, you can now get 15 hours a month free of audiobooks. And they have a lot of popular audiobooks on there, at least for the time being. I like fantasy romance but I think I like romance when there's other elements involved. Like if the main plot is just a girl meets a guy and then we're watching them get together and there's not a lot of anything else happening, I find that I get bored. I realized that when I listen to the books, if the narrator's good, I tend to enjoy it more because I'm like multitasking and it's like kind of, you know, just a light, easy thing 
to listen to, which is totally, you know, sometimes that's why people want to read. Right now, I've actually been listening to an Allie Hazelwood audiobook. If you're unfamiliar, she writes romances, um, usually focused around women in STEM, which is like kind of an interesting niche, but I read The Love Hypothesis, and personally, I do not think Adam Driver is that attractive, and I do not read Raylo fan fiction, and I really did not personally enjoy it. But I keep hearing other people whose opinions I trust about books like say that they really like Ellie Hazelwood. So I was like, am I just missing something? Maybe I just need to try something else. I decided to uh, listen to Love Theoretically. Initially, I was like, I'm not even gonna finish this book. I was not into it at first. It was like very much to me the same like super tropey this man is so massive and large and muscular and oh my god he's the biggest guy i've ever seen and i hate him but i am physically attracted to him every time i'm talking about how much i hate him and also i'm a very quirky girl blah 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 but then the plot started to pick up more and it's interesting and i wasn't really paying attention to the audiobook and i thought the book was like gonna be over and then there was like i was only halfway through so i was like okay i'm actually way more interested and invested in the plot than I have been in the love hypothesis. Like the love hypothesis, I was honestly, I did not have a good time. I give that two stars. And I have not finished this book, so you know what? The spice scene may be re really weird again. I think the romance and chemistry is like better between these two characters. But anyways, there were several moments where I was like giggling, not giggling. But I feel like I see the appeal more in this book and that makes me happy that I gave her a second chance. I guess if you want to see my final thoughts, you can um, check out my Goodreads review that will be coming out after I finish the book. This was not a very involved, like crafty craft, but I'm glad I did this because now I can sort of look at these and decide what I want to frame, what I want to try to thrift frames for what I might already have. But I think some of the prints are so cute and they'd be like a really good, gallery wall i've been trying to add more art and color to my house i feel like i like neutral colors i think they're soothing but i just think it's more fun you know if you add like a pop of a pop of color to things sometimes i have just been off of my own little bliss world i finished my book and then tried to record myself making my throw together dinner the first time my camera wasn't recording the second time, my microphone wasn't plugged in. So it's fully complete, but here's what we got. I chopped up a bunch of veggies that I had kind of on our last legs in my fridge. We've got some mushrooms, fennel, and then just some veggie sausage. I roasted two of them now so I could just reheat one really quickly uh, for lunch tomorrow. I have a bowl with some baby spinach. I'm just gonna plop half of my veggies in there and then just add my veggie sausage and i also toasted some bread i am testing a no knead bread recipe with like lots of seeds in it honestly it's got a ways to go i did not add enough water to it so it's pretty dense but with some vegan butter on it i just got this calabrian chili um stuff it says italian bomba hot peppers sauce but it's fermented crushed calabrian chili peppers uh, from trader joe's oh my gosh why have i not gotten this before I'm putting some of my bread and spreading it around. Actually, I use this on the veggies too. I mix it with some olive oil and garlic powder. Uh, but you know, I thought I was recording when I told you all that earlier, but I wasn't. So I've been just like putting, melting a layer of vegan butter on this bread and then adding a thin layer of the Calabrian chili paste. I feel like it's less spicy than chili oil. Maybe it's about the same. So like a different flavor, obviously. I love how it has like a really interesting flavor because it's fermented. It just tastes so good. I've been doing a lot of reading and audiobook listening today, so I kind of don't want to read while I eat. I think I'm going to watch All of Us Strangers, which um, just came out on streaming recently. My friend warned me that I'm going to be like sobbing. So I guess I'll update you guys on that. But I've heard it's a really, really good movie. Um, so I guess we'll see.
I just finished the movie and it was really good. Like, I think it was really well filmed. I think the acting was amazing. I feel like I need to think about it. I don't, it was one of those movies that's like, uh, kind of ambiguous or open for interpretation. But I'm going to head to bed now. I honestly had a great day by myself today. Um, Dylan is gone on a work trip, which is why I'm usually by myself when I am by myself. It's definitely hard when he's gone, but recently I've been thinking about how, yes, it does get a little lonely sometimes, but at the same time, I'm probably like never going to have moments like this where I am relatively young and get to spend a relaxing day by myself doing things that I love and just going with the flow for like a very long time because I do want to have kids eventually and I know it's just gonna like dramatically affect my life and how I choose to live it. So I'm trying to view my alone time more as something for me to enjoy while I have it versus something that I don't necessarily like want or something that makes me sad. But now we're going to go to bed. Uh, Maya's already under the sheets right here and about to move Lily into her normal nightly spot. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching and thanks again to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out their sleep week sale where you can save up to 40% off on bed sheet bundles like the one you can see here until March 20th. You ready for bedtime, Bean? Every night, Lily is my little spoon. She has to hop off of the bed first. Then I pick the sheets up. Come on, Lily. Hop up. And she goes right there. I love it. I am going to go to bed, so I hope you're well and taking care of yourself. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video. All right, bye.